Hey everyone, so welcome back to another video on our channel and this video is going to be specially for 2024 batch TCS NQT appearing students. So those students who are going to give their TCS NQT exams, there are a few things very important for you that you must know before going to give the exams because if you are doing these mistakes then there is a huge chance that you are going to get zero offers and you are not even going to get ninja interview calls also you are going to directly get rejected by tcs what are the things uh, you should avoid while giving the tcs and qt exams to not get eliminated immediately we are going to discuss about these things in this video so do not worry about it and make sure to watch this video totally before going for your exams okay make sure to understand each and every point otherwise how much preparation you have done it will not matter okay because eventually you are not even going to get ninja uh, interview calls so make sure to watch the video totally first of all you have to understand solving aptitude questions correctly and in short time is going to be your key to success in TCS in QT exam even TCS have sent mails to students that even if you do not know coding you can still get jobs by just solving aptitudes so aptitude is going to be the key I am saying this again and again even if you are solving a good number of aptitudes correctly and doing zero coding still you are going to get interview calls for ninja roles and you can get that ninja role easily but even if you are solving all the codes correctly but solving very less number of aptitude questions then you are not even going to get ninja interview call let alone digital and prime so your main focus should be solving aptitude questions let's move on to the other tips but before moving on if you are new to the channel make sure to click on the subscribe button join our telegram and whatsapp channel from the description box link and make sure to click on the bell icon after subscribing because we post multiple hiring, onboarding and exam related updates every day regularly so not to miss out. So let's see what are the next uh, problems or next mistakes people do. The next mistakes that everyone is going to do in common is going to be the next mistake that everyone is common and uh, commonly going to do that giving more more time for a single questions you have to understand that it is not a question of your ego or it is not a question of you can solve the question or not okay because all the questions you should be able to solve questions are very basic basically class 10 level questions you are going to get in both maths english and also the reasonings are also going to be easy what the question maker or what the examiner is going to do they are going to play with your mind they will make the question look easy they will make you think then you can solve it easily and you will be able to solve it but it will take four minutes three and a half minutes so one question is taking time of two to three questions or four questions even so that is the thing that you must avoid if you want to have any offer through TCS and QT exams because aptitude you have to solve as many questions as you can correctly within the short time for that first solve all the questions what you think you can solve in a short time and the questions you can you think that it will take a long time or it will have a long calculations and all still you can solve it so just mark it and move on when all the questions which you can uh, solve in less time are done then come back and solve these questions which you can solve but will take a long time then only you can go for it okay and also there is generally no negative marking so also when the instructions will be there you can also read once and if there is no negative marking so no point of leaving any questions empty okay so that's the tips for this particular round that is the aptitude round next is for coding round coding round generally there is going to be two to three questions okay you can expect three questions because last time also it was like that so try to solve as many test cases as you can okay try solve the coding questions from basic first of all you have to solve the coding questions by logic okay there is going to be one easy one moderate level questions if you have practiced then you can solve them so try at least solving 1.5 to 2 coding questions if you are really aiming for prime on digital roles and if you are practicing coding for them okay and if you are not practicing coding you, you do not have good coding knowledge then you can just uh, aim for one code and all so that's it and if you have any other queries regarding this you can make sure to comment down